Hi, my name's Stuart Lynch. I've been helping a new developer recently get a handle on the new navigation stack, navigation link, and navigation destination introduced in iOS 16. Her structure was quite simple, and I realized that this might be the kind of structure that many might have in their apps. You basically have an opening screen where you have a series of buttons that are actually navigation links, and each one will take you to a different view. And each view is different, and the destination is determined by that navigation link. In my starter project here, you can see this working. And I have it working both in light and dark mode. So how does one go about creating such an app? Well, that's the purpose of this video. I love getting your feedback, so tap the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to the video and ring that bell to get notifications of new videos. And if you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee. I'm going to go about it in a bit of a different way and show you the power of enums and how you can simplify and manage your code. I've created a very simple starter project and I encourage you to work along with me so that in the end, you'll have a completed project with some source code that you can refer to in the future perhaps if you want to use this in your own projects. The link is in the description. Content view itself has not been changed from the default, but I do have five other sample views, and each one is quite unique. Topic one view is simply a rectangle filled with a color green gradient that's new in iOS 16, and it's expanding to all edges. All of the views have this title property, and it's used by the navigation title. Since our views are pushed onto the navigation stack, we don't include the navigation stack in the view itself. But if we want to see what it looks like when pushed and show the navigation title, we can surround the preview with a navigation stack and pass in a simple string for the title. And I've done this with all of my views. Topic two view is a tiling of an image of yours truly. Topic three is a V stack of an array of rectangles filled with a different color gradient. And the final view is simply an image that's found in the Assets folder. The Assets folder contains that app icon and the image that I use for the launch screen. Here's a photo that I took that we'll actually use in our app view. And here's the one that I took that we used in our preview. And then there's that avatar of me. So let's get started. Let's create a new Swift file and call it topic. Inside there, I'm going to create an enum of the same name and give it four cases. Topic one, topic two, topic three, and topic four. That's the simplest case of an enum. We can put all cases on one line separated by a comma. Now, enums are great because you can use them and never have to worry about making a typo on a string value. I can simplify using dot notation and access the case and all cases will appear for code completion. Well, the next thing you should know though is that emums can also have associated types. And when they have, you can assign a value that associates with each case. I'll just use string as the associated type. And by default, now, each is assigned a raw value that's the string representation of the case. So in my case, the raw values would be topic one, topic two, etc. We can override the default though by breaking each case onto its own line preceded by the word case instead of separated by commas. So I'm going to place my cursor in front of the first comma and then use the control shift click to click before each of the commas getting multiple cursors. And then I can press return and that adds a return and the multiple cursors are still in place. They're now on each separate line. I can then hit the forward delete button on my keyboard to delete that comma and then start typing the word case in front. Now I want to add a different string for the raw value for each case. So I can use another keyboard trick. I can this time hold down the option shift key on the keyboard, click anywhere, like at the end of my topic one, and drag down, and those cursors are all added at the end of each of those lines. Then I can enter a space, then the equal sign, 
and two quotes. And then between each quote, I can enter a different raw value. So for example, for topic one, I'll use green room. For topic two, my name, Stuart Lynch. For the third, rainbow. And then for topic four, Inukshuk. Now, when an enum has that associated type, we can get access to that raw value, which is the string associated with that case. So, if we want to get a case, we no longer need to use actual strings. We can use dot notation for each particular case. Before we do that, however, I want to make sure that this enum is a type of object that I can use in a navigation link in iOS 16. And a requirement for the type is that it must conform to the Hashable protocol. Well, any object conforms to the Hashable protocol if all of its properties are Hashable. And since we specified that our topic is a string type and strings are Hashable, we can simply specify that our enum is Hashable as well. So let's return to our content view and test this out. First, let's replace the body with a navigation stack. Then, let me create a single constant called topic that's one of our topic enum cases. Note that as soon as I start typing the period after topic, we see all cases from which we can choose one. So let's try topic one. Now, I want to create a navigation link from this topic. I'm going to use the simple overload that uses the title key, which is a string, and the value, which is some hashable value. For the title key, I can use the topic's raw value, which is that string. And since topic itself is a hashable object, I can use it as the value. Well, navigation links are like buttons in that we can apply a button style to them. So let me just apply a bordered button style here. Next, I want to create a navigation destination. So for this, we'll choose the iOS 16 overload that uses some type that conforms to the Hashable protocol and receives the value when someone clicks on the navigation link that uses this type. Then for the destination, we get the type that was clicked on and we can use that to present a view and possibly one of the properties of our type to inject into our destination view. Well, we can choose to go to topic one view and it requires a title. So why not pass in the topics raw value here? And why don't we add a navigation title before we test this out? How about enum navigation? As I test this now in our preview, we see we're taken to that green view. Well, what I'd like to do is to have four buttons, not just one. Enums have another protocol that they can conform to, and that is case iterable. And this means that we can then loop through each of the cases. All you have to do is add case iterable as conformance. Now, if we want to use these cases in a for each loop in SwiftUI, we'll need to make sure that it conforms also to the identifiable protocol too. So we'll need to add identifiable conformance. This, however, requires a unique ID property. Well, each case is unique and each raw value is also unique. So we can simply define a computed property called ID that returns the raw value for each case, which is self. Well, now that we have that new conformance, we can return to our content view and apply it. First, let's remove this single topic constant. We'll want to loop through and create four of these navigation links e using each of our four cases. Select the navigation link and then enter a left brace and this will embed it within a block and places the cursor out front. Let's just type for each with a pair of brackets for now. And we'll know that when we do complete this for each loop, we'll get an iterator. And that iterator is going to be one of our topics. So how can we iterate through all of our cases? Well, since it's case iterable, we can use topic.allCases. And since it's also identifiable with that ID property, that's all we need. 
Well, this is great. We now have four navigation links created. The problem is that they all go to the same destination. Well, we can fix that, though, by switching by topic. Now, since our topic is an enum, we can take advantage of the fact that we are getting a unique number of cases, so we can create a switch statement for each case of them. For the first case, we can move up that Topic 1 view as the view that our Topic 1 case will navigate to. For the second case, it will be Topic 2 that will go to Topic 2 view, and it again only requires a title, so we can use that Topic raw value again. The third case will be for Topic 3 view, and it requires a title, but also an array of colors. So I'm just going to pass in an array of all of the colors of the rainbow, namely red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. But there is no violet, so I'll use purple. And then for the final case, we'll need a title and the string associated with one of our assets. So I have one called Inukshuk and that will be applied in this case. Now, as we tap on each link, I'm taken to the correct view. Well, this is pretty cool as is, but we can do even better with an enum. If we return to our enum, we can do one more thing. We can make it conform to the view protocol. Of course, we'll need to change our import to SwiftUI so that our enum will know what a view is. And a view has one requirement. There must be a computed body property that is some view. Well, we have lots of some views, and it is the view that will be displayed will depend on the case. So let's return to our content view and cut out this entire switch statement. I'm going to return to the enum and I'll paste it in the body. Well, there is no longer a specific topic. We want it to be switched on self. So if I double click on the topic here and type Option Command E, each time it'll jump to the next occurrence and select it. When all five are selected within the body, type self. If I return to Content View now, something wonderful happens. Our enum case is now a view and it provides us with that view as the topic itself. So we can just use that here as the view to present. And there you go. With very little code, we've implemented this navigation. Now, if you want to take this one step further, we can replace topic in topic here with a simple $0 syntax for this closure, since there is only a single argument, which is the view, and our body is that argument. If you want more information on the new navigation in iOS 16, check out these three videos. Links are in the description. If you want to learn more about practical uses of enums, check out these ones. Again, links are in the description. Well, that's it. I hope you've learned something new today and then you can use it in your own projects. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified of new video releases. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video, and I hope you take a chance and watch another one in the future.